Hey everybody, on this episode of Mr. Fix, we're going to show you how to improve the throwing capabilities of your snowblower. So, first things first, anytime that you're in the auger, what we're going to do is you disconnect the spark plug and take it out. Because what can happen there is, even when it gets stuck, the pressure could still be in the cylinder. So the best thing to do is take out your plug. That's the best thing to do. A little block, I'll clean it up after. Number two, what we're going to do is take off the chute. Okay? And let's take off the chute here. Okay. There we go. Let's put that to the side right now. Put all your bolts in one section here. Make sure you don't want to lose them. Now I'm going to show you what happens here. Now, here is the whole auger, the way it works. So, as these augers spin and they shoot the snow over there, this other one comes up and will throw the snow. Notice how these ones are moving slowly like that. But what happens here is if you look at this auger, it doesn't touch the back wall and where it comes out. Notice that gap that's there? I could literally almost like stick my fingers in there. Now that gap is when this chute comes up and makes the turn, the snow is going to build up and not come out. Now, what I'm going to do is, you see that hole in the middle? I'm going to measure the hole, and I'm going to put a bolt in there. Uh, some people I've seen, they'll use mats or uh, uh, splash guards or something, something with thick. So any kind of thick rubber will do you. But now you're asking, well, how am I going to support this? Because it could flex, it could move, you know? I got to understand that I got a bolt in the middle, and I'll have another one on the end to pin it. What about keeping it in shape? Well, I thought about that. I'm like, well, metal, this and that. Well, here's a little thing. You got anybody that plays hockey? Carbon fiber stick. Super strong. Very cuttable, very manageable. Get your trusty Dremel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the edge off of this. Almost, I use this for something else. I'm going to make it nice and flat. And then I'm going to maybe shape it so it fits just right in here. I'm going to be putting a washer on there anyway, so I just want to make this flat. So this edge, the curved edge, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it off. Okay, better open up a window. But anyways, that's what you're seeing here. So what I'm going to do here, you know, it should be pretty good. Just a See, like this, like this. I'm going to put a bolt in there with a washer. So that should keep it in place. If I wanted to, I could put in a little screw just to kind of keep this pinned down. I could probably do that too. A couple of little screws just to kind of hold it in place. But just a little bit of support we want to hold that. That way there, give it some rigidity. All right. So this is the product that we're going to do. So what's going to happen here is that I'm going to mount it to the hole that's there. Plant it down. Very strong now compared to what it was. So I'm going to install that and I'm going to test fit it because I think I have to make another two of these. Okay, so I tried them all, three. So it looks good. What we're going to do is we're going to make three of these. Now obviously the next two will look a lot better than that. I'm going to have to find some uh, nuts and bolts to make that work. And then what I found was it was better off to cinch the two. So 
here you just want to make sure your ends are good because there's a lot of meat going this way. So we got these ones, now I just gotta uh, reinforce it and then we'll be able to install. Same size as far as the width is concerned so it fits in the same one. As far as thickness is concerned here, it could be a little bit longer, it doesn't matter because there's room there. And the bolts that go through, I have to make sure that they're in the exact same location. I'm going to try them on, make sure they work, make sure my bolts can extend on and tighten it up. If I tighten it up, I'm going to swing it all around, everything works, I will try it out. Okay, so I've installed all of them and I've turned them to make sure that everything clears and trim them up accordingly. That's kind of like what it looks like. And the beauty about using the rubber is like I said, even if it's a little tight, once you start it up, it's gonna, it's gonna consume those little imperfections and smooth them out. Okay, so right now, so right now I feel pretty confident that those guys are not gonna shift around. If I wanted to, I could probably use a self tap but I think it's going to be a little difficult. But if I find that these things twist on me, then I will pin it someplace else. Right now, it's a, against the back there. It's all rubberized. I don't think it's going to move. If I hear the machine doing something funny, then I'll pin it. So right now, I'm going to put everything back together, and then we're going to take it for a run. So you saw by the video, look like everything works pretty good, everything's clean. If I look here, everything's in line, looks good. All right, so there you have it. A little bit of ingenuity, and remember, nothing goes to waste, especially these hockey sticks. You got somebody who plays hockey, a son, a nephew, somebody, they break them all the time. There's a thousand uses for these. Super strong, super light, can't go wrong. All you need is a little ingenuity, a little thinking, and hey, uh, you saw the performance, it helped out. So, good luck to you with your snowblower, and uh, hopefully this little tip will help you. And thanks for watching, Mr. Fix.